Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. In this video, we are going to answer this question. How to create month name parameter in SSRS report? So let's go ahead and create that example and see our options. Now, I have a table called the total sale and one of the column is called the sold date. Right now, I'm using date name function and I'm using month. So this is going to return me the month and then I'm using at the rate month name as a parameter so we can pass the month name as a parameter and it will return us all the records related to that month so let's take this query and create the uh, report quickly now let me delete this part we don't need this one this is from the old demo so add data set now paste the query here and we are done now let's bring a couple of uh, columns here so we can see the data product name and sold date now we can preview our report as you can see that this is single value parameter and I have to type the month name let's say we would like to type June once I type the June I will see all the data related to the June month now that's great but we would like to provide the month name in the drop down so I'm gonna go ahead and go to the month name parameter right click parameter properties and then uh, in the available values uh, we can click here and we can specify the values uh, that means that we will be providing static values uh, here in the report uh, or we can get the values from the query so let's go with the static first uh, and then uh, I will show you the qu uh, query part uh, so let's go ahead and provide the label is like what you want to show maybe January sorry and here will be the value so let me copy the values from here so I don't want to type everything paste it here and then uh, let's go to the fab I will type some of them uh, that will be quickly and let's say March so I can keep going uh, and uh, providing uh, the values uh, so this is one way to do it sorry now if we run our report we will see those values in the drop down if I will select April I will see the data to April so this is how we will type all the month names and provide the values so static values this is great so you can go ahead and type all of 12 months but think about a scenario where you have month names let's say this is English month names and tomorrow you have French month names or German month names what you have to do you have to come back here and then you have to type them all of them here you will see same in your report redeploying your report instead of using this static values for the month name parameter here in the SSRS report how about we will use the query so let's call this one get values from the query I have already created a table called uh, RPT month name so once uh, you have this table you can insert all the month names I have uh, put them English month names but let's say if you have French or Chinese and uh, other month names you would like to put you can put it and if your data has that you can use that so if I run this one I see the month names right here now what you can do here uh, you can go back and create a new data set also one more thing I would like to tell you so we will say let me copy this part and copy from here go back here and uh, we are done we will be coming back sorry we will be going to the month name again and uh, go to the available values and we can use the data set too and uh, use month name here so now you will see preview your report you have all the month names in the drop down you can select any and then you will see the data according to that see here I have full month names and tomorrow if we would like to change let's say uh, we would like to change just a short name J A and Jan F E B three character uh, for the months we can always make change here in our table and instead of uh, making changes in the report so what I'm trying to say with the 
uh, option having uh, your month names in the table you it's more flexible you can always uh, make modification you can uh, maybe if you tomorrow somebody said oh, okay we don't want to see first capital letter we would like to see everything capital so what you need to do you just go to the table and just make it everything uppercase uh, or a lower case so in those cases you would not be coming to the report uh, and uh, you will be only making changes to the table values uh, and uh, your report will be extracting the values from the table and showing for the month name parameter. So we have two options. Either we will go ahead and type those values here and provide as a static values in the available values or we use the query. So I will recommend going with the table and this is where we you think like there could be possibilities in future your month name format might change or you will be adding different month names such as as i said that maybe uh, german or european letters and uh, chinese and all that in those cases go ahead and create a table and put those values there thanks very much for watching this video and i will see you guys in the next video